Hey guys, it's WT here from The Coin Alley. It is Wednesday, January 24th, and in this episode of The Coin Alley, I'll be bringing you guys some new exciting news from Devor Coin. They're improving their lending platform and making it better and even more flexible for you. Also, exciting news from USI Tech. All this coming right up. Let's do it. And we're back. Welcome to the Coin Alley. I am your host, WT. So a few days ago, I saw a video out on uh, YouTube about USI Tech and how they're planning to turn back on the United States and Canada uh, options back for those uh, customers and distributors, which is exciting news because as you recall, a few weeks back, um, USI Tech decided to pull out of the United States and Canada um, over problems with you know a bunch of distributors who were um, I guess what they were really doing there was actually um, not presenting the company in the best light and they were doing some really aggressive promotion um, also they mentioned that they had discovered that there was a lot of abuse going on on the platform and all of this stemming from a variety of things um, um, of course the CEO cited things from people weren't happy with the withdrawal limit so initially uh, the withdrawal limit on the platform was two and a half Bitcoin per day and back when they started, you know, that was pretty much a small amount, um, 2.5 Bitcoin. But even at today's rates, going back last year, uh, two and a half Bitcoin at one point was anywhere from 30 to 45 uh, thousand euros, which, you know, is definitely, you know, more than enough to pull out of the platform on a daily basis because this was daily. But there were a few distributors who found ways around this limit uh, and they did this by creating multiple uh, multiple accounts and they were using these additional accounts to take money out of the platform and by doing this this was actually putting a strain on the reserves that USI uh, tech had put aside to pay out on the BTC packages. So this was one of the reasons they had decided to, um, you know, temporarily, you know, block the wallets, uh, block individuals from withdrawing and also the, the sale of BTC packages. Um, prior to them removing the options from the United States and Canada, they had a feature called the rebuy feature this was an option where you as a distributor um, if you had new people that signed up onto you and they didn't have Bitcoin they could let's say pay you in fiat and then you could purchase packages on their behalf and apparently this feature was abused and uh, that's why they had removed this feature so uh, a link to this letter was placed in the back office today, and this is um, a letter from, um, I guess, uh, a law firm that they have, um, I believe this is a law firm or a company that they've used to draft up this letter. And uh, this letter is available on the back office. It talks about um, the future of USI Tech and what they hope to bring to uh, back to the United States and to Canada. Now, as of this afternoon, it does look like they had um, re-enabled the, the option in our back office to actually go in and we can actually purchase BTC packages again. Uh, but right now, the option to withdraw is not available. And from what I've read and from what I've heard, uh, that option should reappear pretty soon. So I'll leave a link uh, to this interview that was done um, on the 22nd. It was on uh, Crypto Empire, um, Empire's 
YouTube page. And uh, I'll leave a link to the interview. You guys can check it out. I'll also leave a link to the, uh, the letter that I was just showing you guys here um, just briefly. So I think this is great news. Um, I think this is what a lot of people um, have been looking for in regard to USI Tech. I think a lot of folks are relieved, but there are some of them who are still um, feeling uneasy because, you know, the feeling is if a company can just, you know, quickly turn off a feature without any advance warning, then that is something you should be concerned about. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why they're planning on implementing the wallet and the withdrawal feature in phases because they're not wanting everyone to log into the system at the same time and start requesting uh, withdrawals. And it is my understanding that withdrawals on the USI Tech platform is done on a manual basis. Um, so once you, if you're not on USI Tech, when you do request a withdrawal from your wallet, that withdrawal process can take up to 24 hours. And partially it's done for safety reasons. So if you know someone was to found their way into your account and they were to uh, request a withdrawal, then there is that, that uh, cooling off period, so to speak, before that uh, deposit is made available to you. So I'm excited that the feature for the packages are back. I am looking forward to the return of the wallets fully. Right now the wallets are there and they've separated your, um, your BTC balances um, by your packages returned from your BTC packages and also there's a section that um, shows your your earnings from commissions so I'm really excited about that I know a lot of you guys out there have uh, had concerns about uh, USI tech are there exit scamming what's going on over there and I'm so glad that they're able to uh, provide us some answers and looks like things will be returning back to normal pretty soon. Now this afternoon, uh, DeVore, well actually not too long ago, probably within the last hour or so, I received an email from DeVore that they were, um, they were announcing a major update to their lending program. Now, as you guys are aware, the whole lending program landscape has changed dramatically in the last week with um, BitConnect announcing their exit and they're going into another type of business, uh, an exchange, and they've left a lot of people, you know, standing there and, you know, they've lost a lot of money and people are frankly very upset and rightfully so, um, very upset with um, BitConnect and people are not trusting lending platforms. Now, I don't know if this news from DeVore will instill some sort of confidence in the consumer, but I think this is a, a step in the right direction. So this notice says, dear community members. So basically, DeVore is introducing an early capital release feature. So this major update will allow you to better control your lending money in the platform. So from now on, when you make a lending package, you'll be able to end it anytime you want before the official release date. And that is a huge enhancement because a lot of these packages, let's say you got in at the $100 level, it's about what, 200, 200 days maybe? Um, I think it's about 200 days, let's take a look. All right, so lending from a hundred to a thousand dollars capital release is 299 days and then at the 25,000 level it's 89 days so as you can see there's a vast difference between the number of days depending on the amount of money that you're lending on the platform so they provided an example below and here's how it works very simple there's a button release there is a button release next to each lending package 
click on it to open the release pop-up window in which you'll see all details regarding your lending package. Enter your password and click on the checkbox. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Finally, click on the confirm button. So here's an example. So you invested a hundred thousand dollars and this is for new loans starting from today going forward. So you invest a thousand dollars and then there's a processing fee of $29 and you get back $971. Down here it is a breakdown of how this all works. What are the conditions to end the lending package? When you prematurely end a lending package, you will get back your initial capital. You only have to reimburse the interest you have already received in the first month and 50% of the interest from the second month. So here's an example. You've got $1,000 in lending, and after 10 days, you've already received $100 in interest. If you decide to end this lending package in the 11th day, you'll reimburse DeVore $100, and you'll get back $1,000. In the second example, you have $1,000 in lending, and after 40 days, you've already received $400 in interest, $300 in the first month, a hundred in the second month. If you decide to end this lending package on the 41st day, you'll reimburse Devor $350. So that's $300 plus 50% times $100 to get back your thousand. So in addition to this, there is a 2.9% uh, processing fee. It says here this update will not impact existing lending packages because it is not available uh, for existing lending packages. So it says here, of course, it's up to you to take advantage of this new amazing feature and only you will decide how to invest your money. So I think this is major news. It's a game changer. I am positive that possibly other lending platforms will adopt this enhancement. So guys, what are your thoughts? Will, would, uh, would this type of feature... Um, get you back into the lending game? Um, do you think it's a good move for DeVore? And how do you see this uh, going You know, horribly wrong? Um, I think this is a very smart move because this gives people that chance to create new loans since this feature is only available on new loans and not on existing loans. So if you currently have DeVore coins that you're holding, then this will incentivize you to actually go out and create new loans so let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section what are your thoughts on the news from usi tech and also the news from devore all right guys that's it for this video just wanted to bring you guys out this news on usi tech and also this enhancement from devore until our next video take care of yourself and of course each other